when we look in chapter 5 itself, you see that one can't stay inactive at any moment. When he's saying that uh, one can't, because one is compelled by this, one can't stay in a mode of non-activity. Even when the one is sitting, one is uh, relaxing, you know, only the body is relaxing, but the mind and the intellect carry on working. So also one thing is that, let's say, you enter into a deep sleep. Are you inactive or are you still active? Very often people think that, uh, okay, I will just take rest, I will be fine, you know. But actually when you are sleeping, there is a much more action happening inside of your body. Because firstly we have to see the action of the mind itself, what you have collected throughout the day, you know, it starts to replay itself in the mind. So it is like the mind starts to, how do you call it, download? You say download, eh? So the mind starts to download this, you know, I'm not too good in computer uh, as a terminology, you know. So, so the mind starts to download all these uh, uh, images, like you said, but one can, uh, one, down, one uh, picture, you know, when we are talking, what we are seeing, all this stuff, all just pictures inside of the mind. It's like from one picture to the other. Somebody was explaining to me, even while recording, actually, it is just picture after picture. That's how when you're recording it, even if it appeared like a movement, it is one picture to the other. So the mind also think in the same way. So it has to start downloading what you have picked up all around because every day it's a, you are memorizing thousands, you know, hundred thousands of images inside of your mind. So the action is still happening inside of the mind, uh, so you don't uh, stay in action. So the mind is still working even when you are sleeping. Actually, that's why, you see, when you sleep, you are in a state of, you are resting, the body is resting, but the mind is working, is processing everything. So one can't really stay in a state of inaction. But when one is doing one sadhana, for example, when one enters in a state of deep meditation, one starts to transform that process in itself. Because what the mind starts to, you see, when a normal person goes into the world, it downloads everything. Whereas one who has self-control, it starts to become selective. Even the brain becomes selective. So the brain starts to select into what mode am I functioning. You know? So even in, in Bhagavad, you know, it said, you know, Bhagavad uh, 6, um, Canto 6, chapter 1, verse 53, it's similar. They said no one can be in a, such a state of non-active because we are bound by these laws of, of nature, you know. So the gunas act upon your life itself, you know. So this depends also on what you have done in your previous life. So that what you have done in your previous lives, it's reflecting upon this life itself also. So can you really be inactive? No, you can't. So action is always happening. Inside the body, for example, you know, even when you're in a state of uh, deep, uh, deep sleep, your heart is still beating. The inner function, the blood flow is still happening. They don't stop. And in the place of a yogi, that is transformed. That's why the yogi can sit for hours, for hours, I mean, for years even, in one place, in deep contemplation and absorbed into the self. It's not bind by that free mode of uh, uh, Tantric Rajas again, Sattvic. You know, chapter 7 of Bhagavad Gita, you know, 
um, chapter 7, verse 12, you know, Bhagavan said, all these things, you know, it is, I have created everything. They are into the mode of uh, the free gunas, you know. Everybody is bound by that. But me, I am not, you know. They are all in me, but I am not in them. So being in that mode of maya, one is not free. So what, how one can be free? Only when one transcend that limitation of identification which one have given to the external. The same, our identification is bound by the free gunas itself. You know? So either one is good, one is uh, dull, or one is uh, just inactive. You know? So when one stop this identification to that, you know, let's say for those who have surrendered to the Lord and really their mind have been absorbed into Him, that change happened. The, the divinity which is inside of them start to awake.